And as we continue our team coverage, we turn now to CBS 2's John Diaz. He's outside Farmingdale High School on Long Island, where he has been covering this story all morning long. And John, just first off, how is the community there reacting? Yeah, well, Sydney and Allie, good morning to both of you. The impacts of this crash will likely be unending. This community, simply put, they are feeling sad. They are still also in complete shock. I don't think it's just here in Farmingdale, but really across all of Long Island. But let me tell you, though, this band trip, it was part of a school tradition. We are told that 300 students from Farmingdale High School, that is approximately 1,700 students, were on this trip. So, you know, all those students there, meaning that the students Students here at the high school, they likely knew someone involved in this crash, you know, someone that was on one of those other buses as well. So this community really just feeling the impacts of all of this. What can you tell us about the two adults that died? Uh, yeah, we have been reporting about them since we learned more details about them last night. You know, you have that 77-year-old Beatrice Ferrari. We are told that she is from here in Farmingdale. We're hearing that she was a retired history teacher from this high school, and she was actually a volunteer chaperone on this trip. And then you have 43 year old Gina Pelletieri. She's from nearby Massapequa. We are told that she was the beloved band leader. And we're also told that these two people really just were the heart and soul of this band. They were watching all these kids, you know, grow and develop throughout the years. They just had so much passion for these students and they just loved the band so much. Clearly, you know, that history teacher, the retired history teacher, she volunteered to go on this trip. Just goes to show you what kind of people they were and what kind of, you know, community this. Is. Such a sad story, John. Thank you very much. And stay with CBS 2 as we learn more about the investigation and the families impacted by this deadly bus crash. We'll have live team coverage throughout this morning, and you can get updates anytime at CBSNewYork.com.